And now, stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of... Nightmare. There was great excitement on Zero Zero Island. Colonel Bleep had spent all morning hard at work in his laboratory workshop. Now, at last, Squeak and Scratch were in for a great surprise. For Bleep had built two gleaming new space scooters. There was one for Squeak and one for Scratch. Yes, the puppet and caveman were soon to be full-fledged flying cadets in Colonel Bleep's space scooter squadron. But first, Bleep explained it takes far more than a fine scooter to make a good flying cadet. For unless a pilot knows the rules of safe flying, he is only a menace in the skyways. And so, Squeak and Scratch were instructed to memorize Bleep Scooter Squadron flying rules as the first step to becoming cadets. Good old Scratch began studying at once, for he was determined to be a very good cadet, a credit to his squadron. But little Squeak foolishly spent his time making a flashy uniform with gleaming buttons, glittering medals, and colorful symbols. For Squeak wasn't satisfied to just be a good cadet. He was going to be the greatest flyer of them all. The Ace of Space. That night, the caveman dreamed happily of his future as a space cadet. But the puppet had already tossed aside his scooter and replaced it with a supercharged, triple-stage, high-compression, futomic-powered cruiser. And off he goes. What speed? What power? What skill? But wait! Look out! There's a stop sign! That's no way to fly! This is terrible. Someone stop him. He's buzzing the space station. <whistles> that did it. Ace is really in trouble now. The entire space patrol is after him. Stop, Squeak. Stop before it's too late. His ship is gone. sometimes teach a valuable lesson. For now Squeak knows that it takes lots of hard work and study to accomplish anything worthwhile in life. 
and especially to become a full-fledged flying cadet in Colonel Bleep's Space Scooter Squadron. <laughs>